Hello everyone and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. In the last episode, we decided to squat in the abandoned house. We met Ralph. He seems okay. Uh, and so we stayed the night there. Oh, it's this chapter. Alright, that's okay. There's a couple of things I can do here that I didn't last time. I do kind of wish that the game gave you the opportunity to skip uh, the chapters where you've already gotten everything. You know, there are chapters you've already 100%ed. Apparently the game doesn't like when you when you try to skip around. Which it does does make some level of sense. Um it's too bad you couldn't do like Dragon Age uh Inquisition. Where it like if you wanted to import your save from the uh the first two Dragon Age games. You know, like going from one it, Dragon Age one into Dragon Age two, you actually like straight up imported the save, and it just grabbed all your decisions for you. In Inquisition, eh, I guess they had like a hard time with that. So, I think to make it easier to expand upon, you now you go online and you basically, I think you can import char like characters from Dragon Age one, Dragon Age two, and it'll it'll fill out your timeline for you, or you can just make one up. It'll, it'll take you through like every decision in the game and I'll be like, all right, what did you do here? Or what did you want to have happen here? And then let you go. And if you make decisions that don't make sense together, it'll yell at you and not let you, you know, export it or whatever. So what I think would have been interesting here is let you pick, like if you want to skip a chapter, just let you pick from the, like, the list of things you've already done. And, uh, let you decide that way. Instead of making you play through the whole chapter again, especially in one like this where there's not a ton going on. This one we haven't 100%ed. There's, I think, like, two decisions we haven't made. Um, so maybe this chapter isn't the best, but, like, actually, finding Jericho, I don't think I've 100%ed, and I don't... That'll probably be one of the last ones that I 100%. Like, that will be I 100%ed everything else. And now I want my Platinum Trophy. I don't usually play games to, uh, to Platinum. I don't think that will change here. Um, not because I'm not enjoying it, but just, uh, eventually I'll get to a point where I may not want to play through the whole game over and over and over again to get the different outcomes. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't expect... I mean, we're on playthrough number three, and I know... Uh, again, probably not right away, but I'll definitely do another playthrough. Uh, on YouTube, and I'll definitely be doing playthroughs on my own. I think after this, I'm, I'm going to be a little less concerned about... Uh, like watching other people because right now there's still like a bit of a blind experience in some of these chapters like I don't we've never met Ralph before where are you going going to I, I, it's weird to me that that ends the same either way whether you succeed or fail <laughs> um Myself. I completely forgot what I was talking about now. Um, but yeah, but so we hadn't met Ralph at all. So that was new. So that, yeah, there still is like a bit of a, a blind element to it. Oh, since I beat you in the quick time event, can I steal that? Oh my god. It was what you. There's like a dying.
so yeah, but I think after playthrough number three, I'll have seen enough that I'll probably start watching other playthroughs. Um, because I actually started watching a bit of, uh, Brian Deckhart's, the, uh, the actor for Connor. I started watching a little bit of his playthrough and then he did, like, one thing that was different. I'm like, oh, I don't, I actually don't want to see how this, uh, changes things. Uh, so I, st so I stopped for the, for the time being. But, uh, I am, I'm excited to go watch his playthrough. Um, there's like a couple other YouTubers that I follow that I, I purposely, um, you know, they played this when the game came out. I purposely kind of skipped the playthroughs because I knew at some point I would play this game. Uh, so now I can go back and watch those. So I need to I need to spare the android that begs to die, and then we'll have done everything. Oh, cool! I don't think I found that one before. Hello, I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. You can serve me by. Yep. That's an anomaly, all right. Wait, right, do I have the same colored eyes now? No. Okay. So it's always gonna be one, one different. I assumed that that was a thing, and it's just basically symbolic. I have, to, I have to find this android, though. Um. I swear he was on this, like, left side. Oh, where are you? Is it you? Or is it- uh, maybe he's dead already. Maybe if you take too long, he just shuts down on his own. That does kind of throw me is because all the environments are kind of like samey. The fact that it like changes up your camera angle. Ah, oh, shoot. If we. find that guy and 100% this. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. I'm going to I'm going to put another uh 2 minutes on the cl Oh wait. What's this? I've never seen this before, I don't think. Okay, there's everything. So, I'm going to put 2 minutes on the clock. Uh, if I remember, I'll actually edit in the clock. Pro I probably won't remember. But here we go, two minutes to find, to find this android who wants me to kill him. Yeah, no, I don't have time, I don't have time for that. I need to find, God, the volume just like pumps up out of nowhere. Where is he? I swear he's on this left side and he, maybe he's not and that's just gonna like throw me off forever.
All right, I mean, if I don't get it, I don't get it. We don't 100% a chapter. I'm not gonna. How about you? You look like you're, you know, struggling to exist. Would you like me to end your suffering? I'm not going to, but, you know, if you'd like to ask and complete my flowchart, you know, I wouldn't complain. I wouldn't say no to that. You look fine. No, nope, you're dead. I think the most disturbing ones are the androids without the heads. Uh, I swear you don't even have to like talk to him. Like he just came up to me. No, I don't want to climb out of here. How am I doing? Ah, oh, there we go. There's a. Uh, that's pretty much the whole two minutes. We tried. We tried. Try to complete the flowchart. I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me wander through the muck. I might not even be able to anymore. I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised if that's like a limited time thing and he just shuts down on his own eventually. I wish I could find area where we kind of like came through at the beginning. I think that's what over here. Nope. Just as like a starting point. All right. Okay. That was it. That was, that was two minutes. That was probably like a little bit more than two minutes. So we tried. I'll come back and I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm only sad because that was like all for naught. <laughs> if we're gonna wander around in a junkyard for ten minutes, it would have been nice. It would have been nice to have one thing to show for it. Just one thing. One thing to show for it. So I've got what two two chapters before we get to finding Jericho That one we will definitely skip The only thing I might do is maybe once we find uh, the other androids. Maybe I'll bring you guys in for that because at least something happens. You guys can get like a little bit of story out of it for anyone who maybe doesn't know the story super well and wants to know, you know, needs a reminder of what happened. I don't really want the suggestion to be go watch me lose my mind wandering around in downtown Ferndale for 30 minutes. How long was that episode? My name is Marcus. And that one was like very heavily edited too. Yeah, I got got nothing. Nothing happened. I couldn't find the android begging to die. It's all right. Uh, which one is this? Is this the one where Hank? No, no the, this is the police station.
I wish they did their, did their like short chapters back to back. <laughs> Hey Amanda, no Connor Graves this time around. Hello, Amanda. Yet. Connor, it's good to see you. Is it? Is it really though? Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. And then it shot itself. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? You just told me I did good. Um... Simulation. It simulated human emotion, fear in particular, in a very convincing way. It seemed completely overwhelmed by them and behaved irrationally. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Hank's a good guy. Unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing, unsure. Let's go with, uh, we'll go intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. <laughs> but I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you mean unfortunately? What do you think is the best approach? Um, just go friend. I'm gonna go friendly. I will try to establish a friendly relationship. Ow. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Okay, phone home now. I'm pretty sure this is a police station. Yeah, okay. I just realized one of the uh, upsides to, to them using androids yes. as their as like main characters is that like in the in the case of the the receptionist. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet. They're able to use one model and one voice for all of those characters. Like they don't have to cast new ones, and it's not jarring. It fits thematically within the world. Any reason to investigate these? All right, let's take a look at the flowchart. Find the magic. Oh, I didn't find the magic stone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Can I do that in another chapter? Android saved during the interrogation, which I don't think happened. Hank arrives, examine Hank's desk, follow. And so things I missed when I'm exploring the station. Okay, so there's there's quite a bit I can do here. You're still here? I thought your assignment was over. It's just been extended. <laughs> Hank's gonna be overjoyed to hear that. I'm pretty sure that's what happened right there is another reason that they they have some of these goofy controls that they do because I just button mashed my way through that. I don't know what I did to trigger that conversation. Alright, let's see. Can I go? I'm assuming it's not going to let me go anywhere fun. Yeah. That's located. All right. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. <laughs> if we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Let's 
explore the new office. Right, let's go. Let's go. I'm pretty sure it's in my best interest to do all these things. I just realized that's old music by this point, too. Uh, analyze. Cold coffee traces of caffeine. Uh, stereotypical. <laughs> Cop eating the donuts. Uh, anything else on that side? Nice bar. Basketball hat. We've, uh, we've read all this stuff before. Oh, there he is. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hi, hey. Hank. In my office. All right. I think we can do both. think because there was a little time to wander around after last time I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day we've always had isolated incidents old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap but now we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide like that guy last night this isn't just cyber life's problem anymore it's now a criminal investigation and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan I want you to investigate. Hasn't it kind of already hit the fan if we're at this point? Why me? Why do I gotta <laughs> be the Hank. one to deal with this shit? <laughs> I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. But I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. I like Everybody's moved awkwardly overloaded. in my headphones. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, but... you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. <laughs> so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I know we've seen that conversation yeah. in previous uh, runs, but that's just amazing. Um... Positive. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Oh. All right. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> Check on Hank. All right. Can I do other things now? Can I? Yeah. Here we go. Yes! Archive room, let's go! I didn't even know this room existed. Authorized personnel only. Ah! Oh. Here, uh... Just, let me slide on in there. No! No, okay. So... Um, or I can't.
can't read that, and I have a feeling that pro and, Oh, they signed it. When were they in for robbery? Okay. All right. Uh, all right. Nothing else going on here. All right. That guy will, like, get in my face. What? What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you. Did they, did he write what, uh, he wrote what he's in, he was in for? Doesn't look like it. He doesn't, doesn't seem like he's taking too much pride in his work. It's too bad, really. Can I enter here? Doesn't appear to be anything. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did anyone else see that? What is that? Oh, I know what that is. Never mind. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if there's any way that there would have been like clues in there, depending on what happened before. And then, just in here. Nothing except the way out, huh? All right, I just want—I just want to see everything. And I'm assuming if you're if you're watching a third playthrough of this, that you probably want to see that exploration. So uh, hopefully that's the case, because that's that's what I would assume. say I definitely didn't expect to do three straight playthroughs of this game but it just really it got me I think like one of its biggest strengths as weird as this is gonna sound is the, the flow chart showing you that flow chart uh, at the end of every chapter I think made things because you can see not only were there other choices I could make, but you can see like how much further that branches out. You know, and then obviously it doesn't tell you how all those things play out. So if you want to know, you got to play through the game again and figure it out for yourself. I think that's neat. I think that's one of the game's big strengths. Did I maybe not read this before? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this. Oh, I don't think I did. Three laws of robotic parenting. They do, they do a good job of hiding. Us, oh, there it is. Yeah, rem customizable, removable LED. No hunger, no expensive childcare, no new clothes, and not to mention no smelly diapers. Um, I believe I was informed that if Carl dies, like in my first playthrough, this doesn't appear. So I don't, maybe I didn't miss this. It just wasn't there. All, it, all its needs can be suspended at the touch of a button. And that'd be nice. <laughs> For career oriented parents, those struggling to have their own children or miss having a youngster at home. At 37, with unemployment at 37.3%, that avoids the dreaded teenage years and shelling out for college seems like a wise investment compared to 350,000 over 17 years. But, all right, never mind. Okay. Yeah, I definitely didn't read this. Okay. I'm not going to spend too much time. This, uh, this uh, video is already going to run way, way over. That's alright. Okay, I think 
think that's it. Unless I want to deal with Gavin. You know, let's go deal with Gavin, okay? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> Fuck, look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Better than you, Meatbag. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Again, better than you, Meatbag. Uh. Sure. Hello. My name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Muller. Um. I'm not telling I'm you. I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to answer you. If you have any questions, please contact your superior. Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! Uh, ignore. I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? That was uncalled for. When a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. Apparently they do get winded. Oh. There are other things I could do, and they're not- Oh, wait, wait. Oh. No, those are just the cells, right? Alright, that's what that's trying to show- wait, oh. Yeah, okay, why does it keep wanting- seeming like it wants me to come back here? I don't think I'd be questioning it as much if the other cell had one. Yeah, alright, whatever. I'm already, this is probably gonna push like 40 minutes. That's fine. <laughs> hope, uh, hope you guys are ready for 45 minutes of walking around a police station. Cause I sure am. Um. Oh, whoa, what am I missing at the time? Oh, that's when, uh, you say, oh, I'm sorry, I died. some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. It'll be very difficult. Um. Positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Um. Partners? Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Just gonna sit down at my desk. desk. Anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. All right, there is one case file I want to look for specifically. Analyze DV. All right, so what am I missing at the top? Um, let's go with uh, let's go with doggo. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Um, music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Um, I don't think I want to ask about anti-androids. Or, yeah, I, I haven't done that one before. I'm not going to ask about basketball because I've done that one and it did not end well. Androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? That was bad. Yeah. There is one. Ah, oh, man. 
I knew I shouldn't have asked about that. Um, let's just start if you have working. Any files on deviants. I'd like to take a look at them. Because I know basketball lowers. I can't imagine. Tools on your desk. Knock yourself out. Asking about uh, Fowler or uh, his hours is going to help. Okay. Nope, not the one I want. I wish I gave the android's name. I'm like, because I'm pretty sure that's Jerry. Uh... Disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home and never returned to the club. That's weird that they, uh, do that. Attempted murder. That's right, so Leo survived. The latter's witness test statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype and was destroyed at the scene by attending officer Ariel. He was violently attacked by his do What? There was no attack? The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. He lied. What? Ah, okay. Then we'll scan the rest. 243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. No. I didn't do it. This time I actually didn't do it. I may have kidnapped his kid, technically. Um. Understanding? I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. Uh-oh. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Um, I'm kind of curious. I suggest you sort out your personal issues what? and let me work with someone more competent. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I meant I was gonna. Oh boy. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. That's not what I meant. I that is not what I meant at all. Lieutenant? Uh, oh, boy. You. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Duh! I didn't mean, I didn't mean it that way. I thought that I was going to be like, all right, I guess I'll just walk out and not worry about this case at all. Ah! Hank is mad. All right, so I guess he. So when does he not get a lead? Is it? I guess if it if uh maybe if car is destroyed by that point is is my guess. Talk with Gavin. So what else could I have done there? Hmm. So close. I wonder what that thing is. I, it seems like it's unrelated to anything else. I wonder if it has to do with like the tombstones or something. Well, I'll figure it out. Ooh, this is a long episode. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying this. Uh, obviously, I just played 40 minutes and didn't even realize it. So I'm having a good time. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.